This was an encounter I had actually the privilege of watching, or you can call it the misfortune of watching. We are not going to talk about Deepak Punia much anymore, because Deepak unfortunately has not done well since that Games. Yes, he failed to qualify for the Paris 2024 Games as well. Maybe it was mental, maybe it was not. But in Tokyo, Deepak was brilliant in the 86 kilogram category, a category that has been dominated by Hassan Yazdani and David Teller. But Deepak was as close as some seconds away from the medal. And I remember with one leg clutch, in fact, towards the end of the first three minutes, there was a referee's decision which went against Deepak Punia. Each one of us thought that the countdown clock has started and Deepak was actually going to win the medal, which would have given India an eighth medal in Tokyo. It did not happen. Deepak Punia, who was what? So near yet so far, which is the name of our series, and he missed out on an Olympic medal. He was in depression after that. He was shattered after that as anybody would be. Like I'm telling you, if you're actually watching this broadcast, look at your clock, look at your watch, and you will realize it was some one or two seconds done. That's what Deepak was, was wanting to do or needed to do to win that medal in that bout. Sadly, a contentious decision and a failed tactic cost him that medal. Such things can shatter a young man, a young athlete. I just hope that Deepak Punia going forward is able to resurrect himself is able to make a comeback and make it count again. But in Tokyo, it was a genuine heartbreak. A heartbreak that all of us were party to. I remember Deepak walking past us after the contest was over. And I, for myself, could not even look him in the eye. Forget asking for an interview. How would I, what would I say to the athlete? These are very awkward moments. From winning a medal which would have given him fame and money and glamour and glory, he had come forth, which meant nobody will remember him. That is how agonizing or painful it can be. But that's why we thought we will do this series, because it's important to remember these performances. Well done, Deepak Punya.